Advanced Algebra Mastery Quiz Number 14. Find the asymptotes of the function's graph. So here we have g of x equals 3 over x plus 8 minus 6. So first of all, we're going to find the vertical asymptote. So take what you see in the denominator, x plus 8. We want to know what will make that equal 0. So take x plus 8, set it equal to 0, and solve. Anytime we're finding the vertical asymptote, we want to figure out what would make the denominator 0. Because remember, you cannot divide anything by 0. So x plus 8, that means x would equal negative 8. So the vertical asymptote will be at x equals negative 8. Okay. In this problem, the horizontal asymptote, you can find it simply by looking at the equation. Look at the format of the equation. 3 over x plus 8 with the minus 6. The minus 6 is your horizontal asymptote. Okay. So y equals negative 6. Again, the format is very important in, in finding these. Okay, this one's pretty straightforward. The next problem looks a little bit different. Now, you can find uh, the vertical asymptote the same way as we did on the first problem. To find the vertical asymptote, you take the denominator and set it equal to 0. Okay, solve for x. So 2x equals negative 3, and divide by 2, so x equals negative 3 over 2. So that is your vertical asymptote. Now, the horizontal asymptote, there are two options here. Here is the first option. Divide and make it look like the first problem. Okay, so option number one, let me step through it with you. So we take 8x minus 10 we're going to divide it by 2x plus 3. All right, remember how this works. So 2x, 8x. How do I get 2x to become 8x? What would I multiply 2x by? Okay, 4. So, but write the 4 above the, the minus 10. Okay, now multiply. So 4 times 2x is 8x. 4 times 3 is plus 12. Now, remember, we want to take away, we want to subtract. So we want to take away the 8x. But if we change that sign, don't forget, we have to change the 12, the positive 12, into a negative 12. All right, so now this cancels, and we're left with a remainder of negative 22. So now, we can rewrite this, okay, one way... We can rewrite this as 4, and then we can go plus the remainder, negative 22, over 2x plus 3. But if you recall, uh, it doesn't look exactly like number 1, so you could rewrite that as negative 22 over 2x plus 3 plus 4. And now the horizontal asymptote is the 4. Again, that's option number one in finding the horizontal asymptote. Option number two, I find simpler. Okay, so the vertical asymptote, obviously, it's the same as this, so I'm just going to write that in, negative 3 over 2. The other option, option number two, is simply to take and divide a by c. Now remember what it looks like. So if I rewrite this as f of x equals ax plus b over cx plus d, the a is the number in front of x, and b, uh, c is the number in front of x in the denominator. Again, when it's in this format, this option works. So all it is, is y equals 8 divided by 2, which is 4. So that's option number 2 at finding the horizontal asymptote. But again, the format matters. you got to be able to look at the problem and recognize with this problem, we can just take and 
take the 8 and divide it by the 2. Now, if it looks different, then you have to use a different option. But that's not on this mastery quiz. Good luck.